LeBron James Dunk, $208,000. Crypto Kitty, $957,000. Crypto Punk, $761,889. Jack Dorsey Tweet, $2.5 million. Beeple Collage, $69 million. Neon Cat, almost $600,000. People are spending amounts worth more than our combined net worth on NFTs. That's not saying much since we're two normal people with a tiny YouTube channel that you should subscribe to, but still, that's a lot of milk tea money. So today we'll be discussing what NFTs are and how they work, why they have value, and what we personally think of NFTs and whether we're buying any. Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a certified public accountant. And I'm her other half, Monique. I'm a pharmacist and I love personal finance and investing. Welcome to Finance Pillow Talk. Talk. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these topics, smash that like button, subscribe, and let's, let's be rich. rich. First off, we need to remind you that we are not financial advisors. So everything we're about to discuss is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes and should not be taken as legal tax or financial advice. In general, never take advice from anyone without doing your own research. It's okay to listen to other people, but always do your own homework. What is an NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible token. Something that is non-fungible is unique and cannot be replaced with something else. Kind of like me. <laughs> for example, cash is fungible. A $100 bill can be traded for five $20 bills or 10 $10 bills, and it would still be worth the same amount. The Mona Lisa is non-fungible. Even if you made an exact copy of the Mona Lisa, it would not be worth the same amount because they are not the same. It's a fake. The original Mona Lisa is unique and cannot be replaced. Again, like me. So a non-fungible token is a certificate of authenticity for a digital file. NFTs can be anything digital, images, music, videos. In one sentence, an NFT is a collectible digital asset. So how do NFTs work? We are not cryptocurrency experts, so we won't dive too deep into this question, but basically it's artwork sold using blockchain technology. NFTs are written on blockchain, which is a decentralized ledger system. The idea behind NFTs is that you have this digital signature in the way that a great work of art might bear the signature of the person who created it. So you can always go and look at the original and say, yes, this is the real one. This is authentic. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency and blockchain, check out our other video here. Why do NFTs have value? Those items are just items. The value is whatever the f it is when you go to sell the thing. Yeah. It could be, you don't know how much it is until you go to be like, hey, anybody want to buy this token? And everybody's like, <laughs> nope, then your thing is worth zero. People can buy NFTs to support the artists creating them. But for the most part, NFTs are a speculative asset. People buy them hoping that one day they will increase in value. Pretty much the same reason anyone buys any piece of art. I guess also because it's pretty. Oh yeah, that too. People paying a lot of money for artwork is nothing new. The first auction house, the Stockholm Auction House, opened in 1674. Sotheby's was founded in 1744 and Christie's in 1766. Art investment was a way for individuals to showcase their wealth and prestige. But over time, access to artwork has changed. The rich and famous are no longer the only ones allowed to play in the sandbox. Over the years, we have seen things like Beanie Babies, Pokemon cards, and even sneakers explode in value. These Adidas NMD R1 friends and family sneakers are worth $10,000. And these Michael Jordan Converse fast break sneakers are worth $190,373. Technically, all collectibles are considered non-fungible. One first edition Charizard card may not be worth the exact amount as another. Ultimately, anything is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So will every NFT be a sound investment? Likely not, but neither is buying real physical artwork or collectibles. Just like buying real physical artwork today, you have no idea if the artist you're buying will become the next Picasso. So that guy that paid $69 million for a Beeple collage better hope that Beeple makes a big name for himself. Well, an even bigger name, we should say. So what do we think of NFTs? NFTs seem like the next frontier of artwork. 
Anyone with internet access and $10 can go online and buy an NBA Top Shot pack. And in an instant, they can go online and resell that pack. With everything else in this world becoming more digital, why not artwork? Is this bringing us one step closer to being a world of Ready Player One, where all your real assets live in a digital world? That would be cool. Likely not in this lifetime, but there's definitely already people that spend a lot of money jazzing up their digital video game characters, paying for special hair, clothes, and weapons. Some NFT trends will likely stick around, but which ones, we're not sure. For now, NBA Top Shot packs are the only NFTs we've purchased. Because my money is her money, and her money is mine. What? We bought a pack for around $15 and resold all the cards for a total around $99. That's about a 550% return. So we will definitely continue tinkering with NBA Top Shot and are keeping our eyes wide open on the NFT space. I think NFTs are here to stay in perpetuity. I think the NBA is one of the great IPs in the world. So I'm extremely bullish. This space called NFT is going to be as prevalent coming out of people's mouths in 12 years as social media is today. That's all we have for you today. If you got any value from this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime we post a new video. And you'll get to see our pretty faces. Post any questions or recommendations for future videos in the comments. Thanks again, and we'll see you for the next Pillow, Pillow Talk. Talk. You like how I did that? Pil pillow talk. One day we'll have a pillow fight. Keep your pretty face, honey. Huh? Just keep your pretty face. Uh.